past couple of weeks have been a bit strange and unexpected. I spent a few days with a camera crew who were filming a short documentary about my connection with red squirrels. And after, I started to experience some pain in my back. And to tell you the truth, I've mostly been resting and sat on the sofa for two weeks. I've still been able to do some stuff and I'm excited to show you my new office as well as our weekly trip to the city. Although I haven't been out in nature as much as I'd like, I'm fortunate that nature surrounds me. It's so nice to do photography in the squirrel forest again. It was so lovely to have that one squirrel as a male squirrel just grooming himself and cleaning his fingers and licking himself. So cute. The second half of winter has really been so unusual. We've had days of extreme cold, snow, and then a few days later it gets a few degrees warm and then most of the snow melts. Not enough that there's no white anymore, it's always white, but all the snow falls from the trees and it almost feels like spring. And then suddenly winter is back, it's cold again, and then after a few days, it's warm. Someone told me that spring doesn't arrive in Sweden until you've had seven false springs. 
yeah, something like that. <laughs> I think it's time to go home and maybe some of the squirrels at the house are still awake and I'll probably have some breakfast and have a coffee. I think a coffee is needed. <laughs> I often get asked how remote we are and today we're actually going to a city. We've got an appointment at the migration office in Umia, which is not our nearest city, but it's probably the biggest and I thought I'd take you along. <laughs> I'd say ours is better, but the presentation's good. Cool. So we're in the wonderful land of Ikea, and I've come here to try and find a shelf, and the purpose of the shelf is that it will be in my office, and I can quickly grab cameras or lenses, and it's just ready, and I'm not sure which one. What you found? It's a bunch of things, babe. <laughs> okay, so I think we're done in Umia. It's what time is it? It's eight o'clock. We've been here six or seven hours. We've done our food shopping. We've been to Ikea, the second hand shop, some other stores, and now we're going to drive back. Going to the city always takes us the whole day, and we only go usually once a week, but we plan all the shops we need to go to and just do it in one day. And there's some people watching me. Okay, we're gonna drive back. <laughs> Welcome to my new office. We haven't done much to this room. We've painted the walls and added some furniture, but it really has just completely transformed the room and I feel so inspired to work. I wanted a light green wall and before it was some really old wallpaper that had stains and I was considering just putting new wallpaper but I wanted a quick fix so I bought some relatively cheap paint and we painted it in about a day. I then bought some curtains which are a nice dark green. I wanted some shelves where I can display my camera equipment but also have it really accessible so if I quickly need to change lens or put on a teleconverter I can just grab it from the shelf and be good to go. I also wanted cupboard space where I could chuck my hard drives, well not chuck them, but put my hard drives somewhere out of the way, put all my other cables and it makes the room tidy because you can't see stuff. And the other thing I really needed was a new desk. And I'm really grateful that MadeSite gifted me this desk. So this is a standing electric desk and I didn't realise how amazing it is until I started using it. I'm only just getting used to standing whilst working, 
but the amazing thing is is that you can adjust the height whilst sitting so it can improve your posture you can have it a bit higher and it's much better for your neck it's also allowed me to have great cable management finally and it just looks really tidy and I also bought a monitor which has really helped with video and photo editing. The main reason I chose this room as my office is because this is the window I do my squirrel photography from and I love having a chair with wheels so I can quickly go from the desk to the window and get my photos of the squirrels. It's honestly so nice to have a proper office and a place to work and it's really inspired me already and hopefully a lot more videos will be made in this room. Yeah. <laughs> I want to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. There are many reasons why you might use a VPN. We often use VPNs to access websites from different countries. When we're traveling or when we're in Sweden, we will often use a VPN so we can still stream our favorite shows. I also use VPNs when I purchase flights. Have you ever checked the price of a flight or a hotel? and then the next day it's more expensive. Websites track your unique IP address, so using a VPN can make you appear like a new customer and then you get the best deal possible. NordVPN is offering a 30-day money-back guarantee, so check out the link in the description.